the most scary of the exposure is not the exposure of adult people, it's the exposure of babies consuming, uh, eating, for example, soy formula. Babies eating soy formula have an incredible exposure to phytoestrogens, and these are endocrine disrupting chemicals. And we'll see in the next, next slides how this can affect uh, reproduction uh, in uh, using the mouse experimental model. This was uh, an experiment performed in my PhD in which we exposed a population of, of mice to high levels of phytoestrogen and another population of mice to low level of phytoestrogens. And what we observed is that, as you can see here in the plot to the left, that the sexual maturation day, which can be very easily identified in mouse yeah, because there is a vaginal plug that is released on the day of vaginal of um, sexual maturation in the females. So the day of the vaginal plug release, it's increased by about six days in the population that consumed phytoestrogen. Okay? So this is a, considering that the normal uh, uh, age to get to reproduction is 30, 32 days, so this means six out of 32 is a big percentage of, of, uh, of the days to get to the reproductive stage. Now, another interesting thing that we saw is this, um, a, oh, is this may, a female, a males getting closer to females in terms of phenotypes. Okay. So normally in mouse or in this strain of mouse, but in mouse in general, the males are heavier than females. But in the population exposed to these phytoestrogens, that, that difference, that normal, natural sex difference disappeared. And the males became uh, not distinguishable from the females in terms of weight. And a similar effect was, done, was observed in the methylation of the promoter region of a gene called alpha actin, and this was in liver. Okay. So if we see here in the plot, um, the higher plot, we see uh, each of these numbers represent a methylation, uh, a CPG site, indicating methylation in that CPG site. And we see there is a difference between males and females. Again, it's a natural difference, normal difference, sex difference between males and females in DNA methylation, but that difference in the control, in the uh, exposure group, disappeared too, in a similar way of the pattern that we observe for the wave. Hey, would you like to know how food can be medicine for your genes? Get access to my free webinar using the link in the video description. You will find out how your genes can learn from your lifestyle choices and how you can teach them to unlock their full potential. I hope you enjoyed the webinar, and if you do, please make sure to comment and share.